So we've gotten to know Mark Pro, obviously by the Perfect Game partnership over the last year or so, but this former pitcher and all of us that are aspiring athletes or used to be have got to know it as well. And Gary Rhino represents Mark Pro. And I think, Gary, what, what I found you on Twitter was excited me the most, the anti-ice man. I mean, what a way to represent Mark Pro and the technology, the, the STEM technology, the recovery technology, and calling yourself on Twitter the anti-ice man. I bet you get a lot of, lot of questions right there with that title. I do. In fact, uh, the reason I'm the anti-ice man wasn't by design. <laughs> what happened was I tried to figure out the best way to insert our technology into the existing protocol, which is known as the RICE protocol, rest, ice, compression, elevation. So my goal was to read the literature, talk to the experts, and figure out the best way to insert my technology into the recovery process. Well, what I discovered in the, in the hunt was that the technology didn't fit in because the protocol's wrong. And in fact, when I say that, people often go, well, who are you? Well, I wrote the book, Ice, the Illusionary Treatment Option. The godfather of the ice age, the Harvard-trained doctor that made up the Rice Protocol, Dr. Gabe Merkin, after he read my book, he publicly recanted, said I made this up in my 1978 sports medicine book, The Rice Protocol. Research has clearly shown I was wrong. Don't do it, it delays healing, then gives a specific reference to the fact that it causes additional damage. He not only recanted, he then wrote the foreword to the second edition of my book. So I got the doctor that may have the most recognized, reference, recommended protocol in Western medicine to not only recant, but write the foreword to the book that took down his legacy. Amazing, incredible stuff. So I, I was, a, my, my minor league pitching days, we were recalling, some of the same technology that you founded, you basically have explained that it's become the over-the-counter version. Explain to our simple viewer right now the technology of Mark Pro. We use the muscle as a pump to move nourishment and waste. That's what facilitates healing. I don't speed up recovery. I normalize the rate of recovery by removing the related obstacles. So the biggest obstacle would be sitting still with a bag of ice wrapped tightly around it and literally trapping the waste in and around the damaged site and preventing the natural flow of oxygen and supplies. I mean, think about that. In all of your time in athletics, did anyone ever suggest to you that it would be a good idea to trap the waste in and around the damaged site and prevent the natural flow of oxygen and supplies. Okay, here's the question. Did anybody ever tell you to do that? Not in those words, but I dropped my arm in a bucket of ice a million times, and right? They, and they did. By telling you to do that, they actually taught you to trap the waste in and around the damaged site and prevent the natural flow of oxygen and supplies. Now, what's interesting about your comment just then, you know who put their arm in a bucket of ice first? I traced it back, Sandy Koufax. Wow. Bill Bueller, the old assistant trainer, became the well. head trainer for, the, for the, the, the Dodgers. If you Google Sports Illustrated, Sandy Koufax, bucket of ice, you'll see the picture. What happened, according to the story that I'm told, and I, Bueller was already gone before I got there, but I heard the story very clearly from people that were there. Koufax said, my arm hurts too much, I'm not taking any more needles. Figure out a different way to make it stop hurting. So they put on basically what looks like a uh, wetsuit on his arm, and he stuck his arm in a bucket of ice, and that picture went worldwide. That began the myth that putting ice on your arm after you're through was somehow gonna help you recover. That's not what he had it on for. He had it on for pain. It hurt. Of course, if you put it in ice, it's gonna make it stop hurting, right. but it doesn't facilitate healing. Right, and so explain the technology, explain you know, how user-friendly it is. I've seen it, and I, we did a great feature in Jupiter on it, but explain the technology. Technology is, uh, remember when you were growing up and you bumped your leg or you jammed your finger or something, and the coach said, don't sit still, keep moving it, walk it off. Remember that? Sure. Okay, all we do is electronically walk it off. That's all we're doing, except you don't have to do anything. You just sit there and it does this. So I'm electronically walking it off. Ankle pumps, remember that when you sprained your ankle? Yep. Okay, I'm doing electronic walking it off. I'm doing an ankle pump for you. I'm moving the muscles the same way the ankle pump would without fatiguing you. And you can do it for hours on end to solve the problem. Go back to a simple thing. Somewhere along the line, you rolled your ankle or hurt your shoulder or something happened and it was actually really tight and 
kind of swollen a little bit. When did it get better? When the swelling went away. Yes. Why did the swelling have to go away for it to get better? The swelling congests the area in and around the damaged site. It inhibits the healing process. It's like there's a crash on the 405 for LA people. Uh, 95, depending on if you're on the East Coast. But when, what happens is the congestion from the crash, the crash site, will back traffic up in every direction, everywhere you can go. In fact, at the back of the traffic, there could be the world's greatest trauma surgeon with the most advanced hospital facility on wheels. If they can't get to the crash site, they can't solve the problem. So you got to get the debris out of the way. You got to decongest the area in and around the crash site to solve the problem. Same thing with your body. All we do is decongest the area in and around the damaged site, in effect, clear the crash site so your immune system can solve the problem and you can heal. So I want to ask you about feedback you've gotten from three different parties. Party one, major league players. What have you heard from major league players about your product? Well, my count, uh, I did a survey where I sent an email out to every major league head trainer. And sometimes the directors of rehab answered, but I sent it out to all the head trainers. And that's a couple of years ago. At that time, I had more than 200 major league pitchers, players from every major league team using Mark Pro. So I'm across the board, I have everybody. Now when I get down to today, which is two years late, this is the third season now past, my count is I have more than two out of every three major league pitchers using Mark Pro. So what do I hear from the pitchers? I have more than two out of every three major league pitchers using the product. I call that a win. Yeah, it's a huge win. Any individual feedback you've gotten from them? Because I'm sure you know you remain open to hearing what they have to say. I do. Uh, I'm very careful about not repeating things that players say to me Church without State. without yeah. their endorsement. But I'll tell you one that's on the media. That, uh, I did an interview with Corey Kluber before he yeah, won his second side. Corey said, "I don't ice. Never ice. Makes my arm feel stiff. I don't like ice." I use the Mark Pro. My arm feels the best it ever felt. If you have a chance to do this and you don't, you're making a mistake. End of the take. Yeah. I mean, what else do I need to hear from you? But that's what I hear from the trainers everywhere. I hear mostly from the trainers, from the athletic trainers, and the directors of rehab for the teams. I don't, my interaction isn't mostly with the players. It's clearly mostly with the trainers, who I teach how to use the technology and apply it, and then they teach the players how to do it. So then my next group would be, it's a combined group, it would be kind of amateur athletes and or their parents. You know, those that consume the product or that bring your product home to recover quicker, to maximize training. Young athletes, 16, 17, 18, what feedback have you gotten from there? Because this, this is why you and I are together, you know, Perfect Game and Mark Pro. What are you hearing from the amateur space? Well, one, one little thing I want to just adjust a little how you said it. I'm really careful not to claim that I speed up recovery. Okay. And the reason for that is the only way that I know of to speed up recovery is with anabolic steroids. And they're outlawed. So I do not speed things up. What I do instead is remove the obstacles and normalize the rate of recovery. Got it. So it's a huge difference. It's basically, going back to my crash site, I'm removing the vehicles off the highway so traffic can go again. Your immune system is what is what regulates healing, not me. Right. But the congestion, like I say, I can, may not be able to speed up recovery, but I assure you I can slow it down. Sit still with a bag of ice wrapped tightly around the area while sticking up in the air, that'll slow it down. So I can get you to recover, in effect, faster than if you did it wrong. Now, what do I hear from the parents? I get calls from parents, not all the time, but a couple of months. Of course, other parents talk to each other and coaches and trainers kind of fill in the gap so you don't always get to me. But I'll get a call from a parent, and I remember one from a mom very specifically. She said to me, well, I don't know if I should buy this for my son. And I said, well, why do you think you should? And she said, well, he wants it. I said, okay, well, so what's his prospects for going to, uh, uh, to college? Oh, he's definitely going to college. Okay, do you think he's going to get a scholarship? Oh, he certainly will. He, he may even get a D1. I mean, we, the schools have already talked to him with letters. I'm like, okay, he should get it then. Now, why? You're talking about a minimal investment, you know, $50 a month for 12 months with no interest on the loan or so, $52 or whatever the number is, divided by, you know, the, the price divided by 12. We give a no interest loan. You try it for 30 days. You don't want it, 
give it back. We'll give you your money back. She said, well, why would you do that? I said, because you're not going to give it back. <laughs> I know you're not going to give it back, but if you end up not liking it or he doesn't want it, you give it back. We'll take care of the problem. We'll, we'll even send you the return label to send it back to us. So that's the kind of feedback I get from parents where they're asking, is this a good idea? Well, if you tell me that, no, you don't really have an interest, your, your son really doesn't have an interest in pitching, doesn't really want to play anymore, in fact, wishes the season was over, well then I wouldn't recommend you buy it in that case. But if you got somebody who's got a dream out in front of them, and the chance of that dream being dark, darkened or dampened because you didn't provide recovery technology, well, that's not right to do. You've got to give them the chance to go to the next level. I, I tell a story, this is a made up story, okay? This isn't true, but I'm making a point on all the stuff I hear. I do that every day. So let's just say we got a high school pitcher. It's a senior, had a great junior year. Everyone knows who he is. He's well known in the neighborhood. Everybody's been saying since, since he was in T-ball, he was gonna pitch in the major someday. This kid has always been great. And all he's gotta do, the scouts are coming down, they're gonna watch him pitch. It's now April of his senior year. They just wanna see him on the mound. If he acts respectful and is professional, he's gonna get a full ride to a major college. He has trouble about five weeks with his arm before they come. His coach tells him to ice it several times a day. His pastor tells him to ice it several times a day. The next door neighbor who said he played T-Lot ball or something 45 years ago tells him to ice it. The school nurse tells him to ice it. The kid's getting up at 2 a.m. to ice his arm because he's got to get ready for the big day when the scouts are going to come watch him pitch. Here's the problem. That made things worse. And he doesn't get better. And that day on the mound, He's very frustrated and his arm's not working, it's hurting. And he's throwing the ball in the dirt and he's kicking it and he's angry. And the kid doesn't get the offer to school because of his attitude. Not because he wasn't good enough, but because he was mismanaged with his problem. Now the kid is stocking shelves in the local, drugs, in the local grocery store instead of playing ball in college. That is unacceptable. So to me, you got that situation going on, get me involved, I can help. I love that. I love that. That's a good fictional story, but very close to the truth. Yeah, well, that's the, it, it's, it's, it's really a combination of so many things I've heard parents say to me. Right. And so many things I've had coaches say to me. Are you telling me that if, that if he ices every day like that, it's not going to help him? No, I'm telling you, it's going to hurt him. Check the literature out. I've read it all. I've interviewed hundreds of the most elite trainers, doctors, and therapists in the business. It took me seven years to write my book. I flew hundreds of thousands of miles. Not exaggerating. Go out and ask. You'll see that everybody's talked to me. I've been to Apollo Ono's trainer. I've been to the Olympic training centers. I've been to the elite military bases. I've been to, to I interviewed Gene Monahan. You name it, I've been everywhere. And you say, how did you find all this out? I went and asked them what they were doing and why, and did they have evidence it worked? That's what I did. And then I read everything and organized it. Remember my goal, beginning of this conversation? Yep. My goal was to figure out where my product, where my technology fit into the existing protocol. I had no intention of becoming the anti-ice man. The last group I want to ask you, and I'm going to go over time just a little bit, is me. What do you hear from the guy or the woman who still tries to stay active, who maybe goes on a run or plays in their local softball league, and they're 52. What do you hear from them using your product? Can I bring up me? Sure, bring up you. Okay, I'm almost 70. I'm still running 20s through the mountain. Okay, so I'm 10 up, 10 down the mountain. I know I'm going to be tired and sore here yeah. and there. I know, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, probably almost a thousand 20 or 20 plus, 20 plus mile runs. I know where I get tired and sore. When I get done running, I put Mark Pro on. I already know where I'm gonna be sore, so I put it on and I decongest the area. I get the congestion out of the area. I remove the crash vehicles from the site so my body can heal. So you wanna do something? I don't care whether you are 10 years old or 75 years old. It makes no difference. If you have congestion, I know how to move it. Now. For yourself, it's very easy to figure out how to do it. Yeah. If you can point to what's tired and sore, I can tell you where the pads go to provide the stimulus, because what we do is provide a stimulus to the muscle. 
So it's this simple. If you put it on your right hand, it won't help your left foot, <laughs> right? So you get it. So you tell me well, I'm right here. Well, don't put it over here then. Put it over here. Here's how you confirm you're in the right place. Turn the machine on, feel the muscle. If the muscle is tired and sore is activated, you're in the right place. If it's not, you're in the wrong place. Move the pads accordingly. It's so easy to do that I can teach, and I've taught people in less than five minutes how to be an expert. I can teach you how to be an expert in less time because you've used that technology in your career for the past. Give me a minute with you and I'll teach you how to do right. it. Gary, thank you. I appreciate it. Will you come join us? We need more time. Will you come join us again? I would love it. You, you tell me when and where and I'm in. Thank you, Gary. Mark Pro, it's a great product, a great partnership, certainly with Perfect Game for amateur athletes and for dads like me. The meltdown continues.